Alright uh, guys, I got this uh, TomTom Tom GPS and it uh, doesn't want to turn on. Uh, I left it out of use for quite a long time without charging the battery. And uh, usually what happens when they don't turn on or any kind of device that has uses an internal battery uh, that's a non-serviceable usually what happens when you leave them uh, leave them not charged for a long time and when they go down to uh, zero percent battery uh, the overload protection uh, and on the and the circuit board actually protects the battery from you know being overcharged and cuts it off but what it does is uh, when the battery goes to zero volts zero percent capacity it will actually confuse the circuitry in here and it will not allow it to charge the battery back up and uh, these things run on battery only uh, so even if you plugged it in it uh, it wouldn't run well I mean they uh, it'll keep charging the battery but even though if you plug a, a USB cord in here it, it still won't turn on so the battery is at zero percent or we're gonna find out here in just a second uh, usually on Tom Toms there's four screws uh, you take them out I think they're a, a T8 Torx bit and you take them out and start from the top you got some clips here you just kinda pull out and back this way and same on this side and once you got it about this far um, be careful because there's wires just kinda get it like that and then pull this up and so you can get it up out of them holes there and then you got two wire connectors one's for your battery the other one's for your speaker so we're gonna test the battery voltage here I'm assuming the uh, black's going to be ground. And we get absolutely nothing. Let me try the yellow one. Nothing. And I know I'm getting the right wires here because if I uh, put my negative lead on the positive, you, know, you should see a little um, mark indicating its reverse polarity and yeah so if I put my meter on there like that my red meter uh, red lead is on the uh, black wire uh, which is negative so it's it's saying it's been reversed so I know that's the uh, those are the battery wires I imagine uh, the middle wire is like a sensor wire or something that detects the battery voltage or something I'm not sure but um, yeah so you're going to need a battery. A 9-volt battery will, would work, but you don't want to leave it on there too long. I got this uh, Kodak charger, and I put a couple AA batteries in here to make up 3 volts. And I didn't want to have to solder some wires to here and try to, you know, combine these batteries together to make 3 volts. So I just went ahead and just put them in the charger and stuck some wires in there. Uh, simple and we should get about three volts with these yeah there you go 2.99 good enough so the brass here or the, the brass colored one would be uh, positive and what I want to do is uh, wrap this one actually around here so that I can easily just probe them wires and it'll send voltage straight to it and what you want to do is uh, pretty much jump the battery that's dead uh, so it'll you know start taking a charge again let's 
going to be kind of difficult, but... Probe that one. You should see the battery voltage drop a little bit. If you can see it. <laughs> there. Yeah, so starting to drop now. Well, it should drop a little bit more anyway, but. And you want to uh, keep them on there for, I don't know, about just about a minute or two. And then check your voltage and see what you got. Usually these batteries are about uh, like a 5 volt battery or so. I'm surprised it's not really jumping down as much. Alright, let's see how much voltage that's done to it. Well, I'm guessing this battery is just completely toast. Um, let me uh, get back to you and I'll figure this out. Alright, so I got a bigger battery. Uh, it turns out them AA batteries were weak or something. Uh, just wouldn't do it. So, I got this, uh, you know, it's, it's a weak 6 volt battery. It should be like 6 something volts, but it's only 530, uh, 5.3. So, we're going to go ahead and try this. And, uh, yeah. And watch the voltage drop. See? Drops quite a bit actually. And you want to hold it there for, you know, like I said, about a minute or so. Um, too big of a battery would actually fry some of these littler batteries. You know, like if you put like 10 volts or something into it. You know, when it's only supposed to hold like 5 volts, you're going to overcharge that sucker and overheat it real quick. You might damage it. Uh, try to find something uh, the same capacity, or the same voltage, at least. Like if you're using a, if you're wanting to jump a 6 volt battery, try to use like a 6 volt or a 7 or 8 volt or something like that. That should be fine. But, um... You can see my voltage up here is actually starting to increase because the battery is taking a charge. I don't know if you can see that real well, but it's at 355 now. Was it like 340 something? Is that 356? My battery is still cold. That so three five eight. Yeah.
kind of disconnected. Is that three six? So that means this battery should have about three, you know, three and a half volts in it now. And that should be just enough to uh, jump start this battery. So I want to take the uh, lead off the battery here. Right there. And uh, it's, it's holding it, well, 3.46, 3.45. And when you do that, when you jump these, you want to hurry up and uh, put the battery back in and put the charger on it almost immediately because uh, so it'll start taking a normal charge again I'm not going to bother hooking up the speaker or anything I'm just going to plug it straight in and there we go and there is no notification lights on this model, I don't think. I'll let you know it's charging. And, uh, let's just try to go ahead and turn it on. Yeah, the battery may still be a little low. I'm gonna let it charge up for a few minutes and uh, and then test it here and, and I'll show you the result. Well, I had to jump it again, but uh, I didn't really need to. So, what actually, what's actually wrong with it is that the battery went down to zero percent, right? And usually when they do that, they'll, they won't take a charge again because of the, it's all confused about, because of the circuitry in here, it will prevent charging a dead battery. Uh, it's just that some of these batteries, they, they gas a little bit, and it, the circuitry thinks the battery is bad when it's at 0%, and it thinks it's been shorted. So that's why it doesn't take a charge again. Um, but if you leave it, you know, for a long time, months at a time, without being charged, without being used, the battery runs down past, you know, the percentage this thing allows, and it won't ever take a charge again. But So jumping it works. Uh, I've done that lots of times with different batteries, uh, cell phone batteries, um, Bluetooth headsets, uh, everything. But right now, I actually found the problem. Um, these solder connections are actually busted right here at the plug and that little pin in there is I think I'm not sure if you can see that but it's cracked. That pin on the right side where the arrow is pointing to, it's actually cracked. So I'm going to, have to go in there and resolder that. And then resolder these connections here by scraping off a little bit of the material because it's, the traces are actually been pulled up with this connector. And uh, yeah, and then that'll be completely fixed. Uh, it shut off, but uh, because the battery is still weak, but if you push on this, it'll turn back on and start charging. So, I'll do that in another video, but to jump these, you know, it's pretty simple. Just get yourself a battery, uh, pretty much the same size battery that, you know, what's in it. 
Oh, it's a five volt, get a five volt. You know, you may have to hold it on for quite a long time and then hurry up and plug it back in and uh, put put the charger on it. Um, that's pretty much it. And I'll do another video on this, fixing the solder connection here. So, yeah, I hope that helped you guys out.